A talented surgeon is terribly upset because his beloved Helena has abandoned him. He lures her to his luxurious mansion, hoping to win back her love. But she runs away and gets run over by a car. The surgeon saves her life in his home operating room, but in the process cuts off her legs and then her hands. Hello everyone, this is Recap Movie Hub. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie Boxing Helena. <laughs> The doctor, Nick Cavanaugh, is a talented surgeon who deserves respect from his colleagues. He has it all. Good looks, a fancy house that was inherited from his mother, and a beautiful girlfriend, Anne, with whom he works together in surgery. But all these things seem insignificant to him because of one unattainable goal, Elena, with whom he spent one night after a party. Every day after work, Nick stops by the bar for a drink with his friend, Lawrence, but when he sees Elena there, the guy quickly says goodbye and goes home. Thanks for the drink, Lawrence. Sure. I'm parked at the road. See you later. Just then, Anne returned from work, too, with a couple of packages for an upcoming dinner, the first romantic dinner in Nick's new home. The woman happily announced her plans, and while she stayed to set the table, Nick decided to take an evening run. He stopped outside Elena's house and climbed a tree to watch her, but when the girl's boyfriend, Ray, showed up in the room, Nick quickly got down and ran to the phone machine to call Lawrence to tell him what he was worried about. He wasn't in the least bit worried about his friend's morale. After his one night with the hottie, he keeps talking about her like he owns her. Nick pretends to come to his senses so that his friend does not suspect anything wrong, but in his head he already concocts a plan to win the girl. Kavanaugh decides to have a housewarming party, so he goes to a flower store to buy flowers and a card for Elena. Returning home, he accidentally falls asleep at Elena's windows. Waking up in the night, Nick rushes to his girlfriend, but she fell asleep right in the living room without waiting for her boyfriend. Later that night, Nick calls Helena, but she doesn't pick up the phone for a long time because she's busy with Ray. When she finally answers, there is silence and beeps on the phone. At Nick's house, there's a party to celebrate his housewarming. Anne discusses her expectations with her friend. Since the guy threw such a party, it means he is getting ready to propose to her. But soon it becomes clear that the celebration was not prepared for her. Elena's arrival causes tension between her and Kavanaugh, and then she starts splashing around in her frank lingerie in the fountain attracting everyone's attention, including N. The girl realizes that her man has something to do with Helena, and she asks him a question head-on, but the doctor doesn't even try to rectify the situation, also misspelling N, calling her by her lover's name. The next day, Elena calls Nick and demands to bring her purse to the airport, which she forgot at the event because she left with a young suitor. The doctor seizes the opportunity and not only arrives late at the airport, but purposely pulls Helena's notebook out of her purse to try to lure her to his place. Elena gets angry at the man and hurls insults at him, but still goes to his house to get her things. Seeing the notebook on a platter, the girl hurries to catch her plane and leave her inadequate buddy as soon as possible. But as soon as she steps out onto the road, an SUV comes flying out of a curve at breakneck speed, and there is a screech of brakes. Everyone at the clinic discusses Dr. Kavanaugh's disappearance and speculates that he has found another job. One of his colleagues goes to the doctor's house to discuss a letter of recommendation and accidentally discovers a terrifying scene. On the bed in the far bedroom sits Elena, or rather the top of her. Nick begs him not to tell anyone and offers his position in exchange for silence. Elena can't remember what happened to her. Nick does not want to talk about the incident and tries to take care of his beloved. He creates a throne for her out of a wheelchair so she can move around the house. Elena, however, is not yet ready to accept her helplessness and refuses this help. A friend rings the doorbell, knocks and looks in the windows, but the doctor hides and doesn't make a sound, realizing that the man will report to the police if he sees the girl lying there. Elena begins to use her throne and gradually begins to recover. She convinces Nick that their relationship has not changed, despite his care. 
She still considers him an inferior man and regrets knowing him. Ray searches for Helena, leaves his phone number in a grocery store, and asks the clerk to let him know if there is even any news about the girl. Anne arrives at Nick's house as she cannot bear to be separated from him. Nick frantically tries to hide the stroller with Helena, making sure she can't scream. Eventually, Anne is about to open the door with her key and go inside. The doctor manages to hide his prisoner at the last moment. The girl tries to make up with Nick, but as soon as she removes her extra clothes to express her feelings, Nick, in his joy, does not hold back his enthusiasm, not even getting down to business. Elena notices all of this through the small door slot and grins. Nick kicked Anne out of the house without giving her a reason, and on the doorstep he noticed that in addition to his obsessive girlfriend, Ray was also watching him. To avoid people's suspicions, Nick ordered an expensive bouquet of flowers with a note to Helena's address from a flower store. After kicking everyone out of the house, Nick is left alone with his captive and forced to listen to her humiliation towards him. Bedroom lies. It is out of love and respect for certain feelings. And I don't give a shit about your feelings. For this, in the morning, the doctor prepares another surprise for Helena that he thinks will make the girl even more beautiful. Returning from his run, Dr. Cavanaugh approaches the makeshift altar, studded with white flowers, on which stood a box, upholstered in silk and adorned with a soft cushion, where Elena had been sitting. Now the girl was missing not only her lower limbs, but her upper limbs as well. Nick takes care of her, spoon-feeds her, brushes her hair and does her makeup. He refuses to release her, claiming that no one can take care of her like he can. Nick invites the night girl over to prove his manhood, and lets Helena watch them through the door slit. After the employee leaves, the guy carries his lover over to the table and starts kissing her. The doctor wants to make her feel good and orders drinks and ripe pomegranates from the grocery store, which were always on Elena's order. The grocer, remembering that the girl had such an order, calls Ray and informs him of her suspicions. Ray arrives at the surgeon's house and sees him kissing Helena, covering his body with his own. The jealous man walks in the back door and to his horror discovers what has happened to his girlfriend. A scuffle ensues, resulting in Ray hitting a stone statue which falls on Nick. The doctor wakes up in the hospital, where he is surrounded by doctors, including Anne, who has stopped by to see him. He learns that Elena is lying in another room and immediately runs there to see her. The girl is lying in a hospital bed, practically in one piece, with minor injuries from the accident and when Nick takes her hand, he realizes that everything has only happened in his fantasies. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.